What I will say is, um, some of those ethnicities and how they grow up in some of those environments, they don't put so much emphasis on material shit. They don't put so much emphasis on um, physical shit. And so now they are meeting people based on the people and they settling down. So I'll give you an example. You can meet a Spanish girl and you might not be rich. You can meet a white girl and you may not be rich. And she may not necessarily be looking at this dude that got the fucked up sneakers on and immediately dissing him. In our communities, mm -hmm. girls look at your sneakers and your teeth before they look at your anything. <laughs> so this nigga got busted shoes on. Nigga, get away from me. His teeth? Uh, could be that's not fair because that's not true. Shoes. Oh, okay. Every okay. race is doing it. Every race is merging into one race. Like, if she looks at your teeth, it's fair. Your teeth is different. Thank Nails, you. too. Shoes. Like, yo, if this dude coming to me with some busted shoes on, he can't get time of day. I'm lying. No. I think, you know, I, in some cases, and I think that depends on what that person perceives to be important about those shoes and it but it depends because i may look at it and be like oh you don't care enough about how you present yourself to the world she may look at it as oh them sneakers from five years ago you know so i, I think it, i think does the outfit match listen to this <laughs> i think it just depends and in our society you are saying you don't care about how you present yourself to the world mm -hmm. and that's the same that could be an urban thing you start to level up into certain levels of society and that money changes. Some of these rich motherfuckers are walking around with shoes that look like they got hit by a truck, got bit by a dog, they got <laughs> ran over and they going home to four million dollar houses. The shoes are not a priority for them. And we immediately will look at somebody's shoes and say, oh, this busted ass nigga, he broke. He don't care about how he look. No, I care about how I look. I'm just running the target, ma. And this is exactly why black people cannot have nice things or build any wealth. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron, back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. At the end of this video, hope you subscribe. Now, I want to go over this video with you guys that I came across. And this makes me so disappointed because it seems like no matter how many examples you give black people, they will never understand this why it's so important to sacrifice in order to build wealth there's a video that's gone viral of a brother that was at a whataburger and some females try to clown him for his outfit so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the video while this guy was inside whataburger getting food three girls began talking negatively about his outfit for no apparent reason this continued until he exited the restaurant he questioned them about their opinion on his appearance and they ultimately made him feel bad about his fit Hey, I, I ain't fresh. I ain't fresh. Not fresh. Oh. At all. No, sir. Tell him stop playing with me. I personally think that outfit suits his age perfectly. And it seems like I'm not the only one who feels that way. Yo, this shit is kind of slick, pissing me off. In a fucking way. Y'all gonna say this man not fresh. Now, from head to motherfucking toe, bitch, we looking at about $290 to $300 in a tire that he has on. Ain't no way you gonna convince me that this shit ain't fresh. What about it ain't fresh? This is what the f we call coordination. And some people in the younger generation don't know what the f that is. And he's at Whataburger. So what was he supposed to have on? Some Balenciagas? A three-piece Steve Harvey suit? Like... Now, before I get started, I want to say, because I always get questioned a lot about uh, stuff that I wear because I get a lot of compliments on my t-shirts you guys I get a lot of my graphic t-shirts from places like Rue 21 Target video game exchange Spencer's places like that like dude you guys these shirts be like 15 20 bucks um, you can go to uh, five below some of my t-shirts t-shirts are from five below t-shirts are five dollars a piece guys you it really doesn't cost much to look decent and as you can see he based on how she broke that down yeah that's about what his outfit costs and it's unfortunate as much as that is these women want to shit on him and say that he ain't it let me tell you something man first of all he rocking my one of my favorite colors the carolina blue 
and then he hit you with the Carolina blue and white New Balances because even those ain't cheap anymore I remember when those used to be about 40 bucks them damn near $100 now and with the Chris blue jeans with the Chris and the blue and white polo and we know polo ain't cheap so come on like brother was coordinated he he looked just fine he looked like he probably a little older than me probably about my age I wear polo polo short sh shirts ain't cheap so come on now like let's stop it see and this is exactly why you got men of other races you look up they whole outfit they whole outfit probably ain't no more than 40 or 50 bucks but they got millions and billions sitting in the bank account meanwhile we over here trying to look like we got money and we barely got four five dollars in our bank account that's the problem with black people we 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 glorify materialism too much and that's why we can't build any wealth where other races are literally in reverse and that's why they have more wealth than us let's keep it moving why them girls not white all of these girls that they look for on tv take away kim kardashian take away select few ones none of them ever got a they who everybody trying to emulate and who everybody trying to be, none of them got a stable household. None of them got families with kids and a man and they out in Dubai as a couple. These same chicks that everybody trying to be, be in Dubai by their <laughs> self with the sheiks get pissing on them <laughs> for 25 grand. True story. The sheiks is making them <laughs> their kids for 50 grand. You don't see none of True. those girls with a man and a house and they showing themselves on Christmas with the matching pajamas. Very, very few of those same girls that we all want to be have that lifestyle. So y'all trying to find and emulate some shit that ain't even successful. Men not making no girl get no BBL. Ever. A chick is making themselves get a BBL to compete with what they think like because of clicks on social media. This girl got 77,000 likes on social media. This skinny chick over here with a decent body got seven likes. She happier than a But this do you think they do it because of the things they want? Gucci. Like, do you well, think women are doing it because they want to? Do you think the women are are getting the BBLs and stuff because they think it comes with money and they just want things, or you think they're doing it because they want lazy. the men? I think that they insecure. Insecurities are the biggest thing in she the world. She did say insecure. She the biggest thing in the world to me is um driving factor is insecure. Whatever it is, we all have. Mm -hmm. Mine might be different. Yours, we all got them. Mm, speak for yourself. You have none? <laughs> I just joking. You're nice with it. You're nice with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that those insecurities um play on everybody in a different way. I know girls that are married that still go get their body done. Mm. Like, yo, you beat the game. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm doing it for me. All right. And you gotta be careful with those because those are the ones that usually end up leaving their husband after they done got the surgery because they're getting all this new attention that they're not used to while they were married prior to getting the surgery. Why do you think they make these women take um, counseling and um, therapy before they have these surgeries if they're married or in a relationship? They do that because usually the woman ends up leaving once she gets all this new attention from men she never got attention from that just happen to be a higher caliber than the man that she's married to, only to turn and find out that those men really just wanted to screw her. Let's continue. When Kevin Samuel was, talk was talking about sign language, y'all, what he was highlighting and what I want you to understand is that we're talking about psychological abuse, challenging someone's sense of reality so that you end up on top at the expense of their mental and emotional health, at the expense of their actual well-being. We're not just talking about the way that someone plays. We're talking about how someone psychologically manipulates. That's abuse, y'all. Just because women are doing it doesn't mean it's not abuse. Women and abuse can go together, just like men and abuse can go together. And then don't, pl please don't play with me on some facts and statistics. Talking about, well, it's, it's mostly men that are doing the abusing, not, and they will not acknowledge the way that people report that men get, can be abused and not report, will not acknowledge that psychological abuse. How hard is that to prove? You can prove a black eye. How do you prove that someone has, 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 effed with my mind in such a way that I have a hard time trusting myself. How do you damn prove that? 
So please do not play with me on some statistics and some facts, because I'm going to ask you some questions. Y'all know what, ladies? Let me tell y'all something. I definitely see why men are running like hell from y'all. Even when there is even a mustard seed side of faith from a woman entering the room amongst women that have gave up on men, y'all be mentally abusing, spiritually, and probably physically destroying that woman with that mustard seed side of faith. Y'all are so stuck on this teen black woman crap that the whole team is going to be going to hell. All of y'all are going to hell. All of y'all. You know why? Because the word says that God, Jehovah, looks at the heart. And baby, y'all got to check y'all heart. Because, baby, y'all are exposing y'all hearts. And if I didn't say so myself, it looks like you are the twin of the devil. Black women, I say you got to get that heart right. I say you better get that heart right, my ladies, because if you don't, you on a one-way ticket straight to hell. See, you got to get that heart right. Because, baby, you're going to be burning. Burning, burning on the river. So I'm like scrolling down TikTok per usual. And let me tell y'all something that I thought was funny. When women say stuff like, oh, he just did all that. Like, it'd be crazy how a lame, you would give a lame your number. And next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? As soon as you give a lame a chance, he wastes your time. Like, what is you chasing me for if you knew you was coming to disturb my peace and all this other stuff? But it'd be funny because it'd be like, what I be looking at it as is like this. A lot of you little ladies like to get on the internet and portray to be something that y'all not. So y'all get up there, y'all act like y'all can cook, clean, y'all share all the girly memes, y'all, you know, share all this positive quotes and you know y'all be well dressed you know well put y'all look real clean y'all look real settled energy look like it's bomb so of course if a man see you on the internet portraying yourself as such damn man you know what Lily looks so nice man every time i see her she well put together them kids be well put together you know what i'm saying she seemed like she got a positive mind she's sharing you know all these nice like she looked like her energy and her mind is in the right place man i could really use Lily in my life man let me try to pursue Lily. so then he may take some time trying to be consistent and try to pursue Lily. And then when he find then Lily give him the number. And then when he gets inside of Lily's space, now he's able to observe. Damn, Lily really ain't as clean as I thought she was, man. I done seen her stick like ten pieces, like you know, pans underneath the bed, man. That that's crazy. It's, sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. Damn, Lily talked to her kids like that. That's crazy, man. I be seeing her keeping them babies up. I thought she really had love for them, man. She be really coming at them kids crazy, man. Lily had never had my seat, man. I I'm good on Lily ever getting pregnant by me. I'm a strap up. Damn, that's crazy, man. Lily been on the phone with Shay Shay and them all morning. Y'all done talked about everybody business in these group chats, man. I don't want to hear that shit. Like, damn, can you get up and cook breakfast or something? You done sat up there and advertise how you can cook, but we ain't ate breakfast in like a week. That's crazy, man. Lily really don't be cooking like that. She only cook enough just to put it on the internet and really portray that she be in the kitchen. And I'm cool on Lily, man. And damn, man, Lily. Every time I turn around, she asking me for something. Like, damn, I don't mind giving it. But I thought you, you got all these purses and all this designer and shit. Oh man, come to find out, Lily over there sharing clothes with. Man, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just sit back, man, cause Lily a little negative, man. And she kind of bringing my energy down. I thought Lily was something I could use in my life, but she really ain't what I thought. I'm gonna back up some. Then y'all get mad. Oh, what the fuck you come over here wasting my time for? Well, baby, he didn't come wasting your time. He just didn't know that you wasn't who you portrayed to be. Y'all gotta stop sending y'all representatives to represent y'all. Then when people find out who the real y'all is, they don't like y'all because y'all not who y'all actually present to be. Stop pretending. If y'all start stepping forward with who y'all truly are, maybe it'll give people a chance to really date you for who you really are and not for who you portray to be. But y'all opt out of that and y'all tr trick people out of knowing who you really are. Now you really negative as shit. You a terrible mom. You dirty as hell. You ain't got no money. You broke. A lot of y'all only like to take these pictures to make your image look like something that you're not. Then you get mad when Jerome don't want nothing to do with you. It ain't Jerome fault. Wait a minute. Who are you? Nah, don't don't get me involved in this. <laughs>
I thought that was funny because I, when I heard my name at the end of that clip, I was like, hold on. Because y'all know she started following me on TikTok. So I thought that was a little bit, I just thought that was kind of humorous. But shout out to uh, Chevy Caprice. That's with two V's. Follow her on TikTok, you guys, because I don't think she ever has a YouTube. But I don't know, man. Maybe one of these days I might try to reach out to her and see if she want to be on the channel because between that and her following me on tiktok i would not be surprised if she is watching but if you are watching i appreciate you and thank you uh let me know what y'all thought about this if you're new to the platform please subscribe oh geez i appreciate the love and support make sure y'all hit that bell notification that way i know what i'm uploading hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience also look out for the travel vlog channel unplugged traveler link is in the description until the next video y'all do deuces